Let's see. I've hmm. been right here to Harlem, mm -hmm. and then okay. over here to Dover. Wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is London. Okay. And then down here, I went to Africa. And wow. oh, right. See right here, Rome. I went there too. Right there. All these places. Wow. What are you doing, Miss Lee? Well, I'm making a list of all the places I've been in the world. Wow. Like around the world in 80 days, X marks a spot. I want to learn about those places too. Well, let's get ready to learn. Because we're all in this together. In three, three two, two, one. one. Hello everyone and welcome to Cat Paws. My name is Miss Lee, this is Gatto, and today we're going to hear Gatto's favorite story, The Adventures of Ging Gong the Cat. This is the story of Ging Gong the Cat. He wore a bow tie, he wore a red hat, he was a little bit skinny, a little bit fat, and that was Ging Gong, Ging Gong the cat. He liked to walk across the desert, he likes to sail across the sea, he likes to climb the highest mountain, he likes to do a dance with me. Yes, this is the story of Ging Gong the cat. He wore a bow tie and he wore a red hat. He was a little bit skinny, a little bit fat, and that was Ging Gong, Ging Gong the cat. He likes to tiptoe through the tulips. He likes to sail across the ocean blue. He likes to run for all the roses. He likes to do a dance with you. Oh, this is the story of Ging Gong the cat. He wore a bow tie and he wore a red hat. He was a little bit skinny, a little bit fat, and that was Ging Gong, Ging Gong the cat. Yes, that was Ging Gong, Ging Gong the cat. Oh, that was Ging Gong, Ging Gong the cat. Clap, clap. Ging Gong the cat. Early one morning, Ging Gong jumped out of bed. He brushed his teeth, he put on his bow tie and red hat, and he looked in the mirror and smiled. Who are you, he meowed. You know who I am. He 
Well, Ging Gong was a traveler, and he loved to take trips to wonderful places, but his favorite place to go was school. School was cool. He walked along, and he sang a happy song. And as he was walking, he heard a terrible sound. It sounded mean. It sounded really mean. I hate school. I hate school and everything about it. What's wrong, Ging Gong meowed? Nothing, growled the boy. My name is Gingong the cat. What's yours? Meanie, he said. Meanie McMeanerson. Well, Meanie, why don't we walk together and you can tell me all your troubles and maybe I could lend a helping hand. So they began to walk. Meanie grumbled and Gingong listened. Now Meanie noticed that Gingong had a very nice satchel that he was carrying. And he asked Gingong what was inside. Meow, Gingong replied. These are some of my very favorite things. Down, up, roll down, up, a pump left, pump right, and pump left. I do a jump, 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 go forward, and then whoop there. Well, one of my things, my favorite things, is clapping both my hands. Yeah, one of my things, my favorite things, is clapping both my hands. You know I clap to the east, I clap to the west, I clap to the one I love the best. Oh, one of my things, my favorite things, is running all around yeah one of my things my favorite things is running all around i run to the east i run to the west i run with the one i love the best now one of my things my favorite things is lifting up my knees one of my things my favorite things is lifting 
up my knees. You know, I look to the east, I look to the west, I look with the one I love the best. Roll down, roll up, down, then up. Pump, a pump right, pump left, and right. Then I jump, 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 go up, and whoop. Chin, nose, one of my things, my favorite things is clapping both my hands. One of my things, my favorite things is running all around. Now one of my things, my favorite things is lifting up my knees and jumping up and down. Do your own thing. Inside Ging Gong's satchel were five wonderful things. A beautiful ribbon from a birthday gift, a hanky from his mama, a ring he got in a box of Cracker Jacks, a harmonica his music teacher, Miss Lee, gave him, and a piece of chewing gum, sugarless, of course, for after lunch, just in case he could not brush his teeth. These were Ging Gong's favorite things. They turned the corner and saw a kite stuck in a tree. Now, Ging Gong loved to give a helping hand, it was also one of his favorite things. So he pulled the kite from the tree, and away he began to fly. They flew high above the clouds as the wind blew them across the ocean, and then they began to dip down. They landed in a beautiful backyard in France, where someone was having a birthday party with a great, big, yummy birthday cake. Debussy the dog was celebrating his special day, but he was sad because there was no knife to cut the cake. Ging Gong looked around at all the sad faces and he knew what he had to do. He pulled out his beautiful ribbon from his satchel and he handed it to Debussy to cut the cake. Give your hands a clap, give yourself a shake, turn yourself around and round, then you start to bake. Give your hands a clap, give yourself a shake, make a friendly circle for it's time to cut the cake. You gotta bend your knees, look left, look right, you roll your shoulders and you reach up high, you gotta